Hey guys, um, I recently just did a little bit of research on reCAPTCHA. I thought it was kind of interesting, so I decided to share it with you. Um, CAPTCHA is that little code at the bottom of forms and things that you fill out that has random numbers and letters, and if you put them in correctly, it verifies that you're human, you're able to think, and you're not a bot. Um, now, what reCAPTCHA is, is it's very different from CAPTCHA. It looks the same, and it does the same thing on a basic level, but it's completely different. Um, reCAPTCHA gives you two uh, things to put in, and they're words. And what makes this really special is that there are thousands, hundreds of thousands of reCAPTCHAs done every single day. And um, what what's interesting is that it's a lot of, it takes around 10 seconds, maybe 5 seconds to do one each time. And that multiplied by the amount of times they're done every day, that's a lot of work. And it's actually not wasted. Uh, what's happening is reCAPTCHA, what they do is they scan books and convert it into text and words that the scanner isn't able to understand, that it couldn't read, it puts in the reCAPTCHA. So whenever you're converting those words that seem a little squiggly and illegible, um, you're actually translating it for the machine to be able to put it into a book. Now you're probably wondering, well, if the computer didn't understand what that word was, how does it know that I got it right? And that's why you have two words instead of one. The first word is a word that the machine knows is, I'm pretty sure it's the first word anyways, one of the two anyways, is a word that the machine knows the translation to and it knows what it converts to in normal text. And the second word is the word that the machine wasn't able to convert into text that it wouldn't understand. And it just assumes that if you got the first one right, that you translated the second one properly also. And generally what it's going to do is it's going to give you the harder one that it already knows. So I'll give you a demonstration of just what I mean here. So let me just hold the camera here. Uh, so here we have a reCAPTCHA. And um, hold on, let me just click in the field here. Now we have two words. We have shushed and seams with a comma. So shushed is probably the one that it already knows. So I'm going to write that in properly. And now I'm translating for the machine, but it doesn't know what this translates to. It wasn't able to read that. So if I just type in random gibberish and then hit enter, boom, it's going to say I got it. If this was a registration form or something, uh, this would have passed. I'll show you another example. Um, all right. Here we have composure and birth. So composure and um, let's write QWERTY. This is definitely not that word right there. I'll hit enter and it says I got it right. So there you have it. Uh, I wouldn't encourage you to type these in wrong on purpose, but it's just cool to know that, I mean, every time you're putting in one of these, you're actually doing something and it's not a waste of time. So thanks for watching, and um, check out more guides and other random crap on my channel and on my website.